So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No, uh, um... Here, take it. In the Master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. Long, long ago, all the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. It all began here, in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies in which was written the events to come. So, did you look through the book? Yes. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? They... I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. <laughs> it's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected, stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts? Yep, and you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that faded land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But... What about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Well, if you want to give it a shot... Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, good luck. So the reliable Ira, who wore the mask of the unicorn, was given his role to take over for the master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. 
the fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lu Xu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. This is where your story began. The story of your very own adventure. Five of the Master's apprentices armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. Then, they set out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the Monsters of Darkness, they would gather light. There's a traitor among us. Are you certain? What proof do you have? I found this sniffing around. Is that... a dark charity? Uh, is that... a nightmare? Did you make this? It's so cute! Well, things are gonna get pretty hectic around here soon. But this spirit Chirithi is gonna make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Oh, right. Before I forget. If a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather, if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. No! I won't let you do that! <laughs> no wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm... Ugh! Don't insult me! Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. It's not me. There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. Unfortunately, there are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Yeah, in that case, who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. 
Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However, I believe those tools were the nightmares doing. The bangles? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine. But using that power is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh no. Everyone's already equipped their bangles. So what now? How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as those bangles couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I believe it's one of us here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully disagree. What proof do we have that the bangles are tied to the power of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame? We shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Ira, some leader you are. You've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What, did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? <laughs> that was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. It looks to me like the Master made the wrong choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I hope... I hope we can all resolve this soon. That didn't go as expected. What's wrong, Ira? This isn't like you. A lost page. Something's missing from our Book of Prophecies. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident, well, it's nowhere to be found. And how does this whole thing with the traitor tie together? Like I said, it's nowhere to be found. <sighs> in my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and a page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned. That they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Trust me. There seems to be no record of it in my book either. You may be onto something. I wonder, could this have been the Master's plan all along? To grant the lost page to only one of us? We have no way of knowing. The Master is gone. I understand what you are saying. I promise to keep a close eye on the others. I will keep you informed, as always. Thanks. Of course. After all, that is what the Master asked of me. And Ira, may your heart be your guiding key. So, to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. But without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is... It's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you want...
want me to go? What? N no, of course not. <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, I see. Look, I get that change can be hard for everyone, but things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind all alone. Now that you know what the future holds, Envy, what does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do what your heart feels is right. Right. I was wrong about Ira. I thought he would make a great leader, but he'd let me down. Well, what do you two think? You don't believe what Ira said, do you? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Inby said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe there's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us! How dare he look at us with suspicion! We're his comrades! I wouldn't call us comrades. Anyway, could you get to the point? I know you didn't call us here just to complain. I want the three of us to form an alliance. But alliances are forbidden, I said. I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So, we join forces, then confront Ira? Confronting him is pointless. Ira won't change his mind. I know there's darkness at work. There's no question. But, I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's just wasting time trying to figure out who the traitor is. But darkness won't wait, and neither should we. We need to band together now, and find a way to fight it! <sighs> Guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions? That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my union members involved. I want... I want to follow the Master's teachings. Understood. That's your choice to make. You should do whatever you feel is right. Yeah. By the way, said, do Ira and Inby know? I haven't talked to Ira about it for obvious reasons, but I did ask Envy to join us. You wanted to see me? Uh, Kula, Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. I want an alliance among our unions. Gula here has already agreed. Will you join us, and together we and can- And disobey the Master's teachings? We don't have a choice! Darkness is approaching, and we need to combine our strength to stand against it. The Master bestowed each of us with a different role, and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. Perhaps... it's you who has been tainted by darkness. I'm tainted by darkness? Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You really think you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. To observe us, yes. But not to disclose everything we say and do to Ira. That's... For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough.
When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Alva! Uh, oh, hello. Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh-huh. Why the long face? Did something happen? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? About why the unions compete against each other instead of working together? Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. And as such, we must obey. The Master said so. So it is. But lately... I've really started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well... I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and... think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. Hm. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. If you say so. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. You know, I made a friend from another union today. Wasn't much of a talker, maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. <sighs> well, it was nice talking to you. I don't know what's got you down, but please cheer up. Thank you. If the worst happens, I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. My dandelions. Envy. Have you learned something? It seems Ased and Gula's unions are now allied. So Ased is the traitor after all? No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To Ased? Unification is a means of gathering strength to oppose the darkness. So I believe his heart still belongs to the light. Even so, forming alliances was strictly forbidden by the Master. Yes, and his teachings are absolute. That's why I will try and persuade Gula to dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No. Please, let me do the talking. Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Ased's anger. All right. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing. Ased has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> 